Hello and welcome to Victory Chat with Jackie. I'm your host, Jackie McKeever. And on Victory Chat, where your victory star here, we talk about everything from, um, from faith to finances to business. And because I am a book addict, we talk about books. And y'all, for season two, and there is my bangs for the people watching on YouTube. For season two, <laughs> I'm doing a special series called Behind the Author's Pen, where we have guest authors. We put them in the hot seat and we get all up in their business and talk about their book too, right? Today, we have special guest, Mina Crosby. Um, Mina introduce yourself and your book honey sure so i'm so excited to be here thank you so much for having me um this is my first podcast talking about the book so i'm i'm very excited so thank you um so my name is minna ahmed crosby um and i recently um published a book called uh breaking the core line the story of black ballerina yanchi stevenson um and so i um, i'm an author i'm an editor um, and a content creator and um, i'm excited to share the story um it's actually my story about my mother um, and she was a ballerina, and I just knew that I wanted to tell her story. Um, oh, wait and, a minute, uh, yeah. now you're going too hot. You're going too fast. Okay, gotta I got to say something. A little bit. We, got okay. to, we got to give them a reason to buy this book. Okay. Y'all, she is cute as a button. So y'all should go to my YouTube channel so y'all can watch this interview, so y'all can see her beautiful face. Okay, Thank and you. while you're there, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell and sharing is clear. So share it because somebody needs to hear this message. This is an important message. We are not playing. We're uh, let me say it again. We are not playing. Mina, are you ready for a hot seat? I am ready as I'll ever be. So let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so why did you write this book? So actually, I didn't start out. Um, to write this book, I was actually writing, um, I had was talked to a high school friend and she recommended uh, that I read this book called Educated. And I read it and I was like, she told her story in such an eloquent way. I can tell my story. I have some very similar um, life things that happen. So let me write um, a book. Let me write a memoir. So I wrote uh, my memoir and then I sent it out to beta readers. And they were like, you really have two stories here. You have your story and the story of your mother. Um, and they really encouraged me to tell her story in itself. Um, and I'm so glad I did. Um, I was able to um, sort of take those chapters out, make it its own freestanding book. Um, and then I got to talk to more of my mom, get more of her stories. Um, and my dad was especially excited for me to write this book. Um, he's like, you have something really special here. Um, and so we worked on it and um, he actually recently passed away. So it's just a special memory for me um, that our whole family got to work um, on this book and share her story. Oh, that's amazing. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But that's amazing tribute. Um, how long did it take for you to write that book? So I started writing um, in March of this year, um, basically pandemic, all the kids activities were canceled, and I had so much more free time. And so I was like, and I, I've always written, um, I've been a writer for a while. Um, so I wrote that the book, it took me about um, two months to write the memoir. Wow, um, and then fast. Yeah, I just had a lot to say and I just <laughs> wrote it all out. Um, but then sort of taking my mom's story out um, and then doing research, um, kind of looking at newspaper articles and um, different references and things like that, um, that took a little bit longer. Um, and so I kind of finished the book around um, September, um, published it um, in October and here we are. That's good. So were there any delays in producing or writing this book? Um, not, not so much. Um, I, it was a little bit tricky formatting it. Um, so I, I self-published it myself. Um, but I got, my dad has published many books. Um, so he was, he gave me a lot of good advice to help me push it along. Um, but it was the, I think formatting, I'm not a graphic artist, um, or don't really, I'm not really inclined that way. So getting the cover to be just right, um, that kind of was what took the longest. 
Um, but overall, it was a pretty easy, quick process. Um, it's not too many delays, so i uh, excited that it came out when it did. Who was this book written for? So I want to, that's a really great question. Um, so I think it's written primarily for, I dedicated it to my children and my nieces and my nephews. So my, um, all of Yanchi Stevenson's grandchildren, because mm -hmm. I wanted them to know her story. Um, you know, there's going to be a time where she's not going to be with us and I'm not, I don't know, didn't know the ins and outs of her story. Um, and so I wanted it to them to have something that they could say, oh yes, our grandmother was this amazing black ballerina. This is her story. This is what she went through. Um, so primarily it's for um, my children and my, you know, hopefully my grandchildren maybe someday and my grandnieces, grandnephews, um, but also for anybody who's interested in American history, because you know, our history is American history um, and they need, I feel like anybody who's interested to know some of the things that we faced, you know, things we were not allowed to do, um, those that did not want us to be in certain spaces. Um, it's, a it's a testament to those and speaks to what we have overcome um, as um, Black and African American people. Um, so anybody who's interested in history, um, who loves dancing, ballet, um, especially those who, are, who do ballet or interested in ballet, I know we're in nutcracker season. So um, if that is an interest for you, you I think they'll find your, her story um, pretty amazing. I think it's amazing that you took that journey because um, more people should do that. Uh, more minorities should do that because a lot of times our 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 stories aren't taught in school. Exactly. Um, it may be a little blurb, blurb, but it's not really told in in detail because everybody's stories is not like uh ml kings but everybody's story has value exactly i totally agree with that 100 percent. i think we all have these stories um in our families that um, we need to collect we need to preserve um and um i was yeah i was honored to tell her story and i just think it's important and i would encourage anyone you know sit with sit with the elders hear their stories and encourage them to um, document those because um, we really have a rich history, a rich American history, rich Black history that we definitely need um, our kids to know, our grandchildren, and we can't we can't lose those stories. That's the key. Sit and listen. Because my dad used to, I used to always to ask my my dad's deceased too. Um, on the tenth, he would been in past uh, three or uh, been four years. Oh, oh wow! And okay. um. He used to, I used to say, well, why are you always telling me these stories? He said, well, somebody has to listen. Yeah. And you oh, have to that. listen so you can tell it, so you can repeat this story. Yep. You know, that's how, um, that's how our stories were carried from person to person. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about your book. So, Thank you. um, was this the first book you've written? So I, I'm, I've, I've been writing books since I was a teenager. This is probably the first <laughs> quality book. That, um, I have some stories that I wrote as a child. I was like, what was I thinking? Um, but yeah, this is my first published book, um, book that I have published, yes. That's cool. Yeah. Will there be other books in this genre? I heard you say uh, two books. So we got a notebook coming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do, wanna t I, I do wanna tell my story. I mean, it's there, it's just kind of just sitting, uh, waiting for me to work work on it. So I have Come to on, uh, work girl, on that. You got the, you I got know. the write a book. You already put it out there to the people. We wanna know when the next one coming. Yeah. We wanna, hey, the listeners, y'all make sure y'all go grab her book. OK, get let her know that you want to you want this book and you want the second book too. <laughs> put her in the hot seat yeah. so she can get them stories get to out. start writing. Yeah, yes. I, they're, they're and they're there. Like, I want to tell my story. I want to tell my um, my dad's story because he had an interesting um, uh, life as well. Um, so, yeah, they're there. I just need to I need to start uh, writing again. That's good. So. Um, what do you want readers to get from your book, from this particular book? What lessons? Yeah, so I think it's really about understanding the importance of our history. I think that's the number one key. Um, we were barred from doing so many things, so many things that we couldn't do, um, small things, big things, um, just because of our race. And I want them, I want 
teens, I want adults, I want people to understand and remember that. Um, so the not so distant past of that. Um, and also just appreciate, it's an appreciation of how far we have come. Um, and um, also I want people to be able to know that they can um, make a difference, even if it's in a small way. Um, you know, my mom sort of put a mar her mark on the ballet community. And so, you know, that's not like, I don't care in cancer or anything like that, but she did That's have That's awesome. Cause and not she, too many people um, make it, you know, to where right. she was professionally dancing and stuff. Exactly. You know? yep. Because life gets others. in a way. Yeah, that's just, yeah. I think yep. they call them companies, right? They yes. call it companies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I just, I hope that, um, yeah, I hope her story inspires others. Um, not, not so much just, you know, to pursue your dreams if you're, you know, in the dance world, but just to, if you have a talent in something, to move forward with it and pursue it um, and also pivot. So if at some point, you know, like that. Uh, something causes you to want to do something else or believe in something different, um, feel, do that and do that the best way you can. So, um, yeah, so hope the, the whole part of the book is just inspiration and just honoring our history. That's the, the, the main parts of it. And you mentioned that you were a content creator. What kind of content do you create? Oh, so I, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot, girl. Go you ahead. Are. Um, so I do a lot of um, Instagram, social media, um, things like that. So um, I like to say that I'm a creator um, in, in many different ways, mm -hmm. but also um uh, do you I, do it professionally for others? Do you get sponsorship? Oh, no, I just, it's, it, I, not yet. So, um, you know, I have deaf, but I'm not, I'm open to it. So okay. whoever wants to come sponsor me. Come I on have, through. Yes, let's, we can do this, this we can. Um, we plug in, we plug, putting plugs yeah. out there, y'all connect. Yeah, but by primarily I am. Um, I uh, come from a background in finance, so that's kind of what I do on my day to day. And then I also um, I'm an author, and I also I'm editing, so I do um, I do have an editing business as well. That's awesome. So the next question is, what other books or authors inspire you? So I love history and I love memoirs, especially because I feel like they just give us such great insight into someone's journey that we can take lessons from. Um, and so that's kind of what inspired me um, to tell my mom's story. I read um, Educated. Um, I also recently just read um, Made, the book. Um, and I just love those stories because they, you just get a window into someone's life that, um, and you can see parallels in your own life. Um, and just gra gather inspiration for them. Um, so I think my favorite book that I read this year was probably um, Cicely Tyson's book. Um, I haven't that was, read that yet. Oh my God, it's such a history lesson, such an inspiring piece of work. Um, it just takes you through, I mean, she she was with us for so long and she had mm -hmm. so many experiences and she was so strong in who she was. Um, so I, 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 that was, it's been my favorite book this year and I probably will reread it again. Um, and she does have a, a, a connection with my mom too, which made it especially, um, uh, meaningful to read her story and how wow. she was also involved with the dance theater of Harlem as well. So, um, the book is just as, um, just as I am and it's mm -hmm. phenomenal. So. So um, what advice would you give new writers or anybody writing their book? I would just say, just start, just get those words on a paper. Um, oftentimes I've, I've heard um, a quote that said, you know, you write the first draft for yourself. So you're telling yourself that story and we need, we need to hear our own stories, kind of go through that, heal, work through that. Um, so I, I always encourage everybody, just write, just write your story and then don't worry about if you don't think it's good enough or everything down the line, just write it. And once you finish writing it, then you can, um, you know, that's when you can get other people to read it. You can get um, editors and come in to figure out how to tell your story broadly, but getting the story down or your knowledge um, or just your creativity, if it's like fiction, just get it out. Just get those words out on the paper and um, yeah, the magic, it will happen. It will continue to happen if you just put the work in to get those words down. Awesome. 
So can you give the listeners a quick blurb or something from a, a sneak peek or something from your book and let them know where they can buy it? Sure. Yeah. So um, the book is about um, a black ballerina who was born in Aruba um, and she came to America and saw the, you know, was introduced to ballet um, uh, and just was in love with it and decided to pursue it on a professional level. Um, And she was faced with obstacles, just being African-American. There were not many that looked like her. um, And there were many who didn't think that we as African-Americans could excel in ballet. Um, And so she was pushed to push to other genres and um, other people had opinions on the dancer that she could be, but she stood strong and she, um, you know, made, uh, she broke a lot of different barriers and she's a trailblazer. Um, her name often comes up, um, you know, she's Stevenson um, in many different, when you're talking about ballet and ballerinas, um, her story is, you see her name. And so this book fills in the details of her story um, and lets you know exactly what she went to. It's a quick read. Um, and uh, I, I hope everybody, um, enjoys reading it. Um, it's available right now exclusively on Amazon, um, and it should be available January and other places. But right now, the paperback and the e-back is um, available on Amazon. So make sure y'all go out and pick up her book because um, it sounds like a really good read, and we want her to publish the, the second book. <laughs> and keep writing. Yes. Okay. Keep writing. That's yep. from a, a book addict. I love books. I want, I'm excited for your journey. Y'all, this is behind the author's pen with author Mina uh, Crosby. And I'm Jackie McKeever from Victory Chat with Jackie. Remember your victory starts here. Thank you so much for getting in our hot seat. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This was really fun.